Good morning students. Let us start our next life process coordination the linking system chapter number 5. Students what is coordination? Let us observe some of the activities given here. Sharpening a pencil, grasping a doorknob, walking, running, driving, balancing body upright on just two feet. In all these things, different parts and systems of our body work together to produce these effects. So, coordination is different parts and systems working together to produce a definite effect. Let us take the first example, sharpening a pencil. Our eyes first see the pencil and sharpener together. Then our hands insert pencil into the sharpener and turn it around. Our eyes watch the amount of scrap coming out of it. If we feel that enough amount of scrap has come out, then our hands draw the pencil out. Our eyes see the sharpness of the pencil then. If we are not satisfied with the sharpness, again our hands insert the pencil once into the sharpener. This process goes on until we see the pencil is well sharpened. Here, eyes and hands are working together to bring required sharpness to the pencil. This is an example of coordination. That is, in coordination, different parts and systems work together to produce a definite effect. Here, the effect in this activity is sharpening the pencil. Got it? Now, a sequence of stimulus and response is involved in coordination. Let us understand what these terms mean in the next slide. So, here is an illustration for stimulus and response. Look here. There is a volcanic eruption. Seeing this, the animals are running away. The volcanic eruption is stimulus and the animals running away is response. So, stimulus is some change occurring in the nature and response is action done by performed by organisms why for this response occurs in organisms that is for their survival got it so stimulus and the environment lo vache change and response and the change ki organisms ye action ait perform chestayo danne response antaru between stimulus and response various events take place inside the body of an organism let us understand what are those events. So, events in the organism between stimulus and response. So, see, changes in environment like volcanic eruption is a stimuli. Sense organs like I receive this information. This is then passed to spinal cord through sensory neurons. Spinal cord processes this information and sends commands to the effector through relay neurons and motor neurons. What are effectors? Effectors are those which cause movement. In case of horse, they are the muscles of the leg. And in case of sharpening a pencil, it is the muscles of hand. Okay. So, stimulus is first to sense organs this kundai, sense organs so sensory neurons dwara, or sensory neurons means sensory nerve cells dwara spinal cord ki pumpis thai. Spinal cord information analyze chesi, integrate chesi, dhani ki uh, stimulus ki alarm te action perform chaya no koda decide chesi or commands ni relay neurons ki pumpis thai. Relay neurons what mean motor neurons pumpis thai, motor neurons so dhani effect as ki cherus thai. Effector is nothing but ये organ है ते stimulus के respond वालो organ में effect आ रहा है। For instance, volcanic eruption विषय में है ते legs of the horses and sharpening of pencil विषय में है ते muscles of the hands। अंत का ना? So these are the events that take place between stimulus and response. And if you observe this flow chart, there are two pathways between relay neurons and effect आ। So one is what we is from relay neurons to brain. From brain to motor neurons and from motor neurons to effectors. So this pathway which does not involve brain is called as involuntary pathway and this leads to involuntary movements. Whereas this pathway that involves brain is called as voluntary pathway and it, this leads to voluntary movements. So 
there are two types of movements or responses in our body they are voluntary and involuntary movements or we can call responses so in case of sharpening pencil brain is involved it estimates scrap judges uh, sharpness before sending signal to the hands or fingers but in case of uh, horses the horses run at random they don't know in which direction to go simply they run everything occurs automatically without any judgment and this is called as involuntary response or involuntary movement so there are two types of movements in our body one involving brain called as voluntary movement or voluntary response and the other without the involvement of brain called involuntary movement or involuntary response now let us uh, see how sensory neurons and motor neurons look like so this is how a sensory neuron look like it has a cell body with two long arms and these arms are nothing but axons one axon ends up at receptor cells see here these are the receptor cells what are these receptor cells receptor cells are specialized cells present in sensory organs these receptor cells they pick up changes in the environment and send that information into the sensory neurons so here these arrows arrows indicate the flow of information into sensory neurons so this is how a sensory neuron work and now if you see motor neurons they are they look like this uh, they have a cell body with only one axon you don't find two axons here only one axon or uh, axon is present so these motor neurons they send the commands to the effector organs see here these red arrows indicate the commands that are passing to effector organs now let us come back and observe the schematic diagram once again here you find that sensory neurons are directly connected to spinal cord whereas motor neurons are not directly connected they are connected via relay neurons so sensory neurons are directly connected whereas motor neurons are connected to spinal cord via relay neurons from this we can say that there are three kinds of neurons sensory neurons relay neurons and motor neurons in our textbook only the structures of sensory and motor are given relay are not given however let us now observe where these neurons are anatomically present in our body so here you find vertical section of spinal cord vertical means longitudinal lilunga cut chest this is the spinal cord and this spinal cord has four different regions from here to here it is cervical region from here to here thoracic here to here lumbar from here to here it is sacral region and these are the transverse sections taken at these regions so transverse sections means addanga cut chesthe spinal cord ni addanga cut chesthe ee four different regions lo four ts ts means transverse sections ila unnai anamata and all these structures if you observe they are looking alike almost alike right so one of the structure is shown here now let us see where the nerves i mean neurons are present nerves we can call neurons as nerves because bundle of neurons are, is nothing but nerve okay neurons chaana neurons kalisthe oka bundle laga form aithe dane nerve antaru so we can call neuron and nerve synonymously randukni okay synonymous ga manu vaadochu so now if you see where the nerves are you can find now here so on this disc this is the ventral ventral region this is the dorsal region dorsal means venaka side ventral means front side now if you see from the dorsal side which nerve is coming out sensory nerve or sensory neuron and from the ventral side which nerve is coming out it is motor nerve motor nerve or motor neuron now where is the relay neuron here relay neuron is in between sensory and motor so this is motor this is sensory and this blue structure is the relay neuron this is how sensory neuron and motor neuron come out as now from the spinal cord we actually find the nerves on either side see here 
nouns are present on either side but only one side is shown here this is for just illustration same kind of structure is present on this side also so we we get several nerves from different regions of the spinal cord that is cervical thoracic lumbar sacral we find many nerves coming out of these regions and they go to different parts of our body and bring control and coordination in the body did you understand in addition to these nerves that are coming from spinal cord we have 12 pairs of nerves coming directly from the brain and those nerves are called as cranial nerves so along with spinal nerves the cranial nerves they divide and redivide to form a big network like structure that reaches every corner of our body to control and coordinate the activities going on there did you understand so nerves coming from brain and spinal cord they divide and redivide to form a big network all over the body to bring coordination in our body and this system which consists of brain spinal cord and nerves coming from brain and spinal cord is what is called as nervous system so it is the nervous system which bring control and coordination in our body students there is one more system which do the same function can you guess what it is you have studied about it in eighth class what is it yes you are right it is endocrine system so nervous system and endocrine system work together to bring coordination in animals particularly human beings we have seen how nervous system do coordination already but how does this endocrine system bring coordination actually this system consists of various glands you can see here see these are all the glands located at various regions these glands produce some chemical substances called hormones which also have the same role in control and coordination of our body this will be extensively explained in the coming up sessions okay finally what about plants does they have same kind of control and coordination like in animals no they don't have nervous system but they have hormones we call them phytohormones these phytohormones they control and coordinate the activities of plants here is an image which explain how a plant responds to light when light is upright the plant grows straight but when light is shifted the plant bends towards and go towards the new position of the light this bending is due to the presence of a hormone called auxin several such hormones are present in plants we discuss about them in detail in the main video so this is an introduction to the chapter coordination let us see the next topics in the textbook order in the next video thank you